Hello everyone, I hope you are well. This next video you're going to be watching is a really powerful story from uh, from a friend of mine and and a, a man called Pete Lockyer. He's he's been going through some hard times over the last few years. Suffered from mental health um, for a long, long time, but he's finally uh, opening up. Uh, to the world and sharing his story and he he did that um, on Curti TV we did a live interview uh, during our 24 hour charity stream uh, we've clipped it down we've made this interview um, so you can see it just the interview nothing else um, without all the other other stuff that was going on in the stream um, it, honestly it's, it's a brilliant brilliant watch I'd recommend you to stay to the end um, and it will will certainly open your eyes up uh, more to mental health which is what we do we was trying to raise awareness um, for the uh, mental health and uh, raise money for Mind Charity, which is a mental health charity on behalf of Generation Tortmore. We managed to raise, we, we set a target for a thousand pounds. We ra we raised in the end 1,400 uh, and something. Uh, it was over 1,400 pounds. So we, we are absolutely chuffed to bits for that. So again, thank you to anyone who did donate. Uh, and we hope we did get our message across. Um, one of the little forfeits we had was if I said, if we would reach 1,000 pounds out of goal, I would cut this hair off live on stream which we did um i'll be doing a little separate video of that uh I won't, I won't put this interview because we want this interview to get circulated um so please please if you're watching this video stay to the end watch the interview it's very powerful got very emotional very deep um it, it would touch a lot of people and, and hopefully it'll help people uh learn to be able to talk to each other and and express their feelings that's the whole point of this so um please please if you don't mind give this a share Please follow all my social medias. Please hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, this is not the only charity work we do. We do lots of charity work, and there'll be lots in the future, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but yeah, we we stream live on Facebook, um, or Facebook Gaming, which is uh, curty.tv. But if you can find, you can see all my all my links up the top there, uh, and uh, you can see them all down below, and I have them all in the descriptions and stuff as well. But listen, thank you so much for your time, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I really do. Firstly, fair play, mate. Fair play for doing this. It takes a big man to talk, let alone talk in front of people yeah. um, live on camera and, and to potentially a video that's going to gonna, gonna um, yeah, circle thing. the world. It's a big thing. You know, it is a big it thing. Is. It is. Um, so uh, hats off to you, mate, for doing that sort, Thank of, you. That sort of thing. I think the um, first, first, first question is, uh, how what, what made you want to do this interview? Do you know what I mean? What made yeah. you want to um, talk, open up? Um, I think that's a good start. Um, I think for me personally, in the last two years, um, I've obviously gone through a lot. I've been inspired by certain people, uh, inspired by certain situations. Um, I've felt comfortable in myself now. Turning 30 was a big thing. Yeah. Um, you feel older, not got feel that more yet. mature. Not got that yet, Pete. Um, and I just learned to like myself. Mm. So it's time to give back and, you know, Try and help and do that. Yeah, I feel good about it. Give me a tip, Robbie Just turn this light on because it's a bit dim in it. Does it feel that warm enough? Yeah. So yeah. So basically, what you're saying is you you've gone you've gone through a tough time. You're getting yeah, through it. You're feeling exactly better. Exactly. You just want to try and help others. I want to try. And, this is why I'm doing this. I want to try and inspire at least one person because I've been inspired by others, yeah. and that's given me the strength to, 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 to do this today. Yeah. That's off. Well, there's going to be a few people in here, Pete, that that, um, that don't know you. Don't listen for me. I know you. Um, we've got Calvin with us today. Give you some support, which is fair play, yeah. Calvin as well. well Thanks, Calvin. Um, good for me. Uh, we've got a lot of people on here who do know you and have tuned in especially to see this because they yeah. don't quite know what you've been through and what you've no, done. Of course, of course. Um, but we've also got a hell of a lot of people. We've got people from Australia, we've got people from America, a lot of people from America. Do you know what I mean? They, they don't know you. So we're going to just have a little insight of you, your background, yeah. your, your childhood no um, and whatnot. So we'll start from when you were young, your, your childhood growing up, um, I know it was a good one, but can you just explain yeah, what, just, so, just what it was like? So I grew up in Westbourne, which is a nice little village. Um, perfect childhood, great family, mm. great friends. Uh, living out in the country, you know, we got up to all sorts, like we do. Mm. Uh, a perfect childhood. Yeah. I mean, there's no because I think a lot of a lot of out. people who suffer mentally, mental health, a lot of people put it down to childhood and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think a big thing, a big point for me personally today to get across is not everyone, not everyone who suffers from mental health, yeah. have actually had a bad childhood or got yeah. a bad life. They're, they're, they've actually had an amazing. I know you've had an amazing yeah. childhood. Yeah, of course. Um, but you still suffer, and, and there's going to be people out there who, who have had good. Like probably fifty percent of the people that do suffer from mental health have had good jobs. Yeah, um, it's not all down to that. Do you it, know what it I mean? Is, of course, it is. my mum's great. I have good friends there. Uh, Darren yeah. Limbert, yeah, friend of mine now, still a friend now. Mm. 
you know, I still see people from my childhood, from childhood. From six, seven no, years old, good. you know. That's good. Um, and how close how close were you to your, to, sort of, to your family um, growing from, up? From what sort of age? For, from young, from from right young when you was a boy, was yeah, so you a mummy's boy or, you know, how, how'd it go? Definitely, definitely a mummy's boy. Yeah, yeah, I think we all are. Yeah. As a child, I would say you, you do normal normal things where you go family holidays, yeah. activities. Like a normal, Typical boy like a normal type. Kid, sort of, yeah, yeah, like yeah, just, got, just yeah. A, a normal kid, like a normal family, yeah. good family, good, good upbringing. Yeah, sweet. So school and stuff, Pete, going into secondary school and stuff, you had friendships. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know personally you had friendships in all different types of groups. You yeah. know, you've got your different your sports people and uh, your nerdy people, if you like. Yeah. But you know what emos, I mean? Emos. Yeah. You, you, were, you were one of them persons, <laughs> I know this because I was a good friend of yours yeah, in school, yeah, um, that you were friends with all these types of groups. You were yeah. liked by everyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You weren't, you weren't disliked, you weren't bullied or, no, no, or nothing. No, no. Or was you? Do you know what I mean? No, 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 nothing. Nothing, nothing at all in secondary school. Like I said, and the term loosely is kind of in, in between her. Mm. I know it's more of a humour thing now. <laughs> yeah. but that is the term someone who gets on with every group mm. and that's who I was yeah so. just confirm everyone we can hear me and Pete both before we before we get any further um, I'm pretty sure you can but we're just going to make sure yeah thumbs up thumbs, thumbs up, up. As, soon as, we see, as soon as we see two we'll crack <laughs> on I just want to make sure there's no point doing the whole thing yeah. if no one can hear us an acoustic voice yeah that's why I can sing well everyone good everyone can hear us yeah sweet okay. that's one he's a very knowledgeable man as well I um, yeah, so um, going in, did you do you feel sort of something was wrong in in high school and growing up? Was there a yeah, like, so, moment? So I would say, for me personally, you know, I've never been able to track it back to anything in particular. Okay. Some people can, I can't. So there was no individual thing no individ- that caused nothing happened, nothing bad, nothing like that that will cause it. Uh, you change, obviously, like we all do, with teenagers. Mm. You go into year ten, year eleven. Yeah. I think that was the first point in my life where I felt like. I was different, yeah, and that's that's being, in, in, being in, truthful. Yeah. yeah, you know, you hit puberty, you start learning different things. Yeah, so I would say year ten, year eleven, fifteen, sixteen. So that maybe. was when it sort of gradually sort of come to you that yeah, something was wrong. Obviously, I wouldn't know what it was. No, but especially that age, I right? would feel odd. I wouldn't feel normal. Yeah, and that's part of being in different groups. I guess it sort yeah, of makes yeah. sense. Maybe yeah. yeah, got ya, got ya, got ya. Uh, did you did you feel at that time when you felt like um, something was wrong in your head that you were slightly different, as you said? Mm. Did you feel like there was you needed to talk to anyone, or did you not no, know? See, see, me being honest, like when I was fifteen, sixteen, I used to leave school and go home and pretend to be a different person. Got ya. And that was me talking. Yeah. Like being someone completely different. Yeah, yeah. Like being pretending to be the cool kid or pretending to be the best at football. Yeah, pretending yeah, to be the best. yeah, yeah. Got ya. So that's kind of. That was you and your way of talking to someone. Exactly, because bye, I was 15, bye. 16, we're lads, we, we play football, we go out drinking, whatever. Yeah. We're in that sort yeah, of Yeah, yeah, way, yeah. Way, that yeah. So you're you sort of not, you sort of without, living Without knowing, but looking back now. Looking, you, it's, yeah, it's clear sense. now, but at the yeah. time you didn't, you didn't <laughs> no, know. No, not at all, of course. not at all, yeah. And um, also, the, the, so going into sort of when you finished, finished high school, um, or when you was finishing high school, <laughs> did, did like the thought of, of going into the big bad world, as they say, yeah. Um, did, did that play on your mind? Was you, did you see? There's, there's a thought came into my head today because I knew this was coming. That yeah. um, the first ever time that I really felt something, I talked to myself out of going to college. Okay. From school, Why? I talked to myself. I applied. I was ready to go. Sorry, to butt in. You was very knowledgeable in school. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I, I remember was you was in top kids, sets, yeah. uh, and you were very clever as exactly, well. Exactly. Yeah, and I, and everyone else went to college, and I should yeah. have done it. Yeah. But looking back now, I talked myself out of going. And now I know that's anxiety. Yeah. From now from learning. I know. Now I know. But that's only from what learning by yeah, experience. Exactly. At the time, out. I just thought oh, it felt like I was just being lazy. Yeah. And everyone else would have seen it as just yeah, being lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it but I talked myself out of doing that. Yeah. And that, yeah, and without that would have been the first time maybe yeah. that something so, would have. Would have yeah, happened. that probably was the first big effect I it had think on so, your life. Yeah. It did. I, I must have. Sounds yeah. Bit, yeah. Um, and so, so going into into the big world, I know I know afterwards you went travelling a little while after. I mean, it got a few few years after school, but yeah. you went travelling. Was this was this something you felt like you needed to get away from all these troubles that started to occur? Yeah. Or or was it something you just always wanted to do? Or was it a bit of both? Well, I think obviously, miss, what I just said to you, missing out on college and doing things like that, I had to try and find work. Mm. From parents would say, you know, you need to go to work. Yeah. But again, having talked to myself out of college, you talk yourself out of other stuff. Yeah. Um, so like a chain reaction, I suppose. Yeah, and but I did always want to travel. I had mm. that in me 
from from day one yeah i always wanted to do it it, it is an escape and it was like that i still have that now mm. you know you want to go and disappear of course yeah places yeah. that was that for me i was like i'll go mm. and lucky enough he, he may watch he may not chris fleet yeah was was there for you was oh, no, my, i remember you went yeah i remember you both went yeah. yeah and yeah i think you're glad you went no regrets no regrets at all that that time um looking back i spoke to carl earlier about a little situation and stuff i would have days but being around someone and he's he's underestimated how much he, effect he would have now mm. someone as positive as chris fleet yeah you yeah have hopefully no, he's watching if not then, i'm sure he will see you have then no excuse to settle in and mm. be unhappy he would let you he would, it, it, it it's makes too positive it's yeah, too positive that's good, good person, but that, that's the sort of people you need around exactly, exactly. Um, especially if you're hard in, in good very, time but at that, that still uh, I had no idea what it, what was going on it just felt like no it was, it was all a, it was all a, yeah 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 yeah. got yeah. you I can't understand that completely <clears throat> so you know uh, having a decent child in that peak seeing parts of some of the world yeah he, like for me Looking at that on paper, for somebody who's had a good childhood, yeah. you've, be, you've been around the world, you've seen the world. For me, why, why would someone like that have mental issues exactly. or mental problems, suffer with mental health? Yeah. For for an outsider, if someone's never had mental health, you've looked back at it, and some people take the piss out of it. Yeah. And and which is this is this is part of the reason why we're doing all this to raise awareness to get to understand that certain people get this, they they get mental health problems without realizing if we're having good childhoods, we're going to see the world. Do you know what I mean? And, and these people, there's a lots of people like that. Mm. So when you see this person who's traveling and, and they've got, you know, on social media and they're having this wonderful time, on yeah, the, yeah. they're portraying something that sometimes is not what yeah. it seems to be. Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. Like there's a lot, what I'm saying is don't believe what, everything you see all over social media. You could have the best things in the world and still not Of course happy. you could. And you can per perceive yourself as someone um, who's have the happiest life in the world but we know deep down certain people are yeah, doing yeah, this yeah. just to cover up do you know what I mean what what we're doing so so I think a good thing for me so, so early back to my early 20s you know it looks perfect yeah it does it, yeah yeah it does yeah, what yeah, more? It you really could you've you done more out in school and, and you've gone off off travelling and stuff um, but I think again it, sh it shows it shows um, it shows that absolutely anybody can suffer from mental health mm. so just because someone looks like they're having a good life it doesn't mean they're not suffering from mental health which is um uh, point that I want to get across to everyone, um, yeah. and I'm sure you do as well. Yeah, of course. Uh, Pete. So, um, so we're going to get into the nitty gritty bits now. We're going to get start getting a bit, um, yeah. a bit deeper. Um, when, <coughs> when, when did you, you know, know things were getting worse? And did did you do you remember anything in particular that triggered it to get worse, or was it a gradual yeah. build up? So, so for me, if I'm honest, from the point where I am now, it's hard to remember certain things when it comes to triggering because they're bad memories yeah. and if you're in a good place you don't think about bad no, memories no. so I would say coming back from travelling and going back to sort of normal we're looking at mid 20s now 24, 25 um, that is a stage there at 24, 25 when you know I went back to work I went back to jobs whatever and just things just were never right and then feelings started to come forward in the sense of you know I'm not happy yeah. even though I should be yeah, like I've done this good life so far. Yeah, it gets to that point where you just start still not n really known. No. At this point, like you're talking like six years ago. Yeah, like we still had no knowledge. No. At this point, you're still thinking, you're thinking on. You're thinking you're that lazy it's person. Just me. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just it's just me. I have to sort of be like this, yeah. and that's that's where it was. Nothing really. Nothing in between. No, I wouldn't even say. It. I can remember anything that would trigger. So it's like a gradual build up, and it just got worse and worse as you go yeah, on. Yeah, because and, like, a, and then you sort of I think you sort of become oblivious to what was going on. Yeah, and you just lived your life thinking it was normal, which then yeah. the effect behind the scenes in your head it was getting worse. I know going back, like, like I said to you, about fifteen, sixteen, building up a character, and that character would gradually grow as to someone different. To I'm quite a shy person normally. Yeah. But from fifteen, sixteen, without me even ever knowing that character's building up. For a bad person, mm. that is my bad yeah, that's side not of my you. head, not you, really, and it, it builds up a whole person. It's like I would have two people, mm. and that's yeah, that's where at the stage I was at twenty four years old. That's what I was doing, and it was that person I was being. Yeah, yeah. so it was not this good people we know. Every, yeah, to everyone else, else, it's it's it's, it's yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the people people you meet and you don't know that these that's just they think you that's you. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? And then exactly. and in times you probably like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you sure, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I love that. You lift off it a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Um, but but well. for people that actually know you, one being myself, knows that that end peak. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Your family and parents are what we're going to get on to in a minute exactly, yeah. as well. They know that's not my peak. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And 
yeah so we're we're mid 20s and then mm. yeah like i said to you that that's when you just start because you're getting older mm. you start learning about you stuff. Learn stuff i've been around the world i learned mm. about yeah, people different it. types of people so then i start maybe looking at myself yeah. it's kind of a little bit deeper and things yeah so going on to to sort of some of the, the effects it started having on on you mm. waking up every day yeah to, just describe just describe to us like what what was that like i mean i know from, from yeah. what you've told me it's could be a yeah even to now like it's it's not it's not easy it's it's you wake up every single day and this is for anyone watching as well you can you do not know what kind of day it's going to be no and that's a simple of it yeah. you do not know how you're going to feel you don't know if it's going to be a good day or a bad day and at that early point I don't know how to control it mm. so if it's a bad day it's a, it's a fucking bad day mm. yeah and that, that's it Serious. Yeah. but I'm dealing with so you're waking up to the unknown basically every single day every day without a doubt yeah and going to bed same thing yeah you don't sleep no. because you're thinking about if it, what is that it day's be been yeah, or what's going to be tomorrow and this is the anxiety side of it. it I know people will understand this as well it ticks tick 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 you sleep you're never switching off no and when you don't know what what's going on yeah it's it's multiple so, yeah, yeah. It's, it's doing, that's when the, the bad stuff starts happening this is when it gets into yeah exactly it's, it's <coughs> yeah. leading more of a path than i thought it would yeah it would actually go yeah there. so so this this thing started it must have started having <coughs> effects on your friendships your relationships yeah, yeah. See, i mean i know i know that that you you were coming across a certain people your friends your family in a way that you didn't want to no and and, no, no, no. and the way that it's not you yeah do you know what i mean so t- just talk to us about some of the friendships not maybe you were lost and i know you said to me previously <coughs> you do want us to have a few apologies like, yeah just just in general just, 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 at, at the early 20s you know when i would i would talk to people and they would be like ah oh, pete's cool he's fun like come do this come do that any time where i would just ignore anyone or not go to things it's because i would talk myself out of it and then think why well, have i done that but I've gone too far. I can't go can't back on it. And then I would accept the fact because there's no real care in there that that person's gone. Now. Simple. Yeah. Lost a friend, gone. Yeah. But that was the bottom line of it. Well, yeah. You don't really care because so you, you didn't. You, you didn't care because you. Not at all. You no. don't know what's going on in your own no. head. So why would you care? I suppose in effect, it could have been one less person to worry about. Exactly. Maybe. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Which is not the way to to be nah, to friends and no, family. No, at all. And this is this is difficult because you you at your best best time of your life there in your mid twenties. Mm. where you should have good friends around you mm. and I know you're going to go on to, to the next stage of it next yeah. where you start turning to other stuff to yeah. ignore these facts 100%. but at the first point of it it's not even it's just like s- shutting yourself away yeah. and then ignoring the world yeah. and I know if you were to get previous some girls up or something I was both in mid 20s they'd be like he's ignored me he's, yeah. you, that, could, that you could not get hold you could not find me you could not speak to me you no, could not no one could get hold of you and I was so good at that. Yeah. So good. Just, at that. You learn to be good at that. It just yeah. It just happens because you you're doing whatever you have to do to get away yeah, from it. At, at this point now, I'm like eight eight nine years down. Where I built this persona up and I built this way of doing it. Mm. You become that, natural. It was that, that good. Yeah, you come natural. It's second that nature good. to you. Second nature, yeah. Mad. So yeah, as you said, we're going to be touching on what sort yeah. of your your get tos and your sort of escape routes. Yeah. Um, Pete, and I know you you a lot of them you you turn to drugs. Yeah. Which is, might get a bit deep now, personal yeah, stuff, but no, that's what you got to do. It's what you wanted to do. Yeah. Um, drugs, gambling. Yeah. What 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 was the what was the start of that? Can you, can you remember? Was we start with the gambling maybe? <coughs> I don't. I come from a family where they like to bet. They yeah. Like to have fun. What I do. <laughs> my my dad's had similar issues growing up. Mm. But he now he can control it. Yeah. And I always said in my head, oh, I'm strong enough to control stuff. Like I always believed that. Yeah. Anyway. But it's just like a, anyone who does it anyone who turns to that stuff if they're struggling deep down it is an escape because you forget about what's going on and that's mm. what it is so, so what you're saying is when you're doing drugs yeah um, cocaine or whatever it was you was doing yeah and um, when you was doing gambling <coughs> when you was gambling mm. you, you at that particular moment yeah. you're, you're free from everything you think at this point like I'm, I've built up a, a second person a second character who's, who's confident who's full of it and then I've taken the, the drugs and the gambling, where it's like, I need to sh- show off. Because mm. I need to keep being that person. That person, yeah. And that's where it gets more Deep. extreme, because you, you can't stop. Of course. And then once, you, once you've once you got that to them lows, you've got to hide that, I suppose. Yeah, like, let me be honest, from now we're talking in job, jobs and stuff, like I would go to work, um, 
buy drugs and gamble shit loads of money that wasn't even mine mm. and like I'd borrow it or I'd lend it or and whatever I'd take it any way you can yeah and then it would only come to the point where I'd lose it all and then I'd things would recover I wouldn't sleep I'd think about stuff I'd get upset get angry mm, get yeah. dark but then I'd go and do it all again all again because I need to put that you person need to get back that on going and it's well. yeah and it's just um, add so a fuel to a fire of the, yeah the hundred, right, great 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 term there but I think personally from, from what I've gathered as well is the, the you're escaping the reality you are, you are there's no yeah, doubt yeah. about it when you're doing these drugs and, and it's not just drugs and gambling people turn to alcohol yeah. people turn to anything don't they you it's know, they, very easy some, some people turn to gym fitness they use exactly, that do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean or something like that but what I'm saying is you're getting rid of this you're getting rid of this um <laughs> these bad thoughts these bad times in your head for a certain amount of time certain amount of and time. then as soon as that buzzes over as soon as your cocaine high comes or yeah. your gambling addicts or you've lost your money it's heartbreaking bang it's you've heartbreaking. You've, been, you've been hit by a ton of bricks and, yeah, and surely that Pete tell us about a few feelings of that was that worse when that happened was yeah because that... you're you're multiplying it by a hundred mm. like if I was to just do nothing normally then I'd come home and shut myself away and feel depressed but then with the extra added of that losing everything then it's it's not nice. No. And it would go on, it would be constant. Like I'd never sleep, I'd be upset for hours at the night, but then I'd go up and I'd go, put so this fake person on again, go and do it again. It's almost like when you get in your bedroom, you turn into a pee. And then Shut. Bang. Yeah, because that's, that's the shy, quiet yeah, pee. And then when you leave, and he, and you, you bang. This he, big and old. He, he hates that person that that person of is, course, but of course. he's not strong enough to do anything about no. it. No, no, it wasn't. Wasn't, it wasn't strong, strong enough, enough yeah. <coughs> um, oh, it's gone off now. Yeah, so, so, so basically, what we're saying is, it, it, on that point, because it's quite a strong point, because I know there's a lot of people who are addicted to drugs and are addicted to gambling yeah. and alcohol and so. Can things. I can I just push on that as well? I don't think you're addicted. Like we spoke to Carb earlier about it. I stopped myself doing that. Like it wasn't. So you wasn't in a re a, a drug rehabilitation no, thing. No, I was. You, I stopped myself. How? That Something clicking your in your head. Yeah, because that wasn't the main problem. No. But it took me a long time to, to realize, realize it was. Okay. And I always said to my mum and dad when stuff came out, like, "Ah, oh, I'll stop. I'll stop." And they believed it because I think they knew deep down I was strong. Yeah. But just had to, to yeah. do it. Yeah. And then to be able to stop that myself or control it myself, and then it's like. Switching that head. wasn't even the problem, and then it's like that, that's when I started to look at the other side of it. Yeah, like maybe that's not the issue after, or maybe it's maybe, yeah, something or else. build up of all or, or either or, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that, yeah, the point for putting that is don't don't turn if you are having mental problems, you're struggling yeah. with money, anything like that, don't turn to drugs, don't turn to, no. to alcohol, alcohol, gambling. It, all of that stuff's acceptable in moderation yeah. and in control. It's a short term. It's short a short term. Hard and it of will, course, it will it add is. fuel to it, and, and it, it will make you a lot. And, worse. and what Pete said, add fuel to the fire. I think, I think so. Um, hits it, hits it on the head, but uh, mm. hits a nail on the head, should we say? Um, so, with this drug problem, I'll say problem, drug turn to, yeah. gambling turn to, mental health problems going. On, surely, financially, this then started impacting you massively. Yeah. Massively, because yeah. drugs are not free. Well, thousands, Gambling's not free. Thousands and thousands. Thousands. thousands and thousands. And I'm like, which, which you didn't have, Pete? No, nah, not at all. I worked. I worked, Used to work night shifts. Mm. Long nights, good money. I didn't see any of it. Not a penny. Not a penny. I'm, I'm in my mid twenties. I should be doing stuff, getting stuff. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Gone in a day, two days, three days. You hold and then I've got weeks to to think about it and, and try and recover and your mum when your month month money comes in yeah boom God, again. happy bay for two days yeah. and then you're back exactly. in the bubble it's a vicious circle that so financially did, did, you, did you cause any of your family problems with money and stuff like that did yeah, you, did, yeah, you, did, yeah. You, did you take any money did you do anything think, you shouldn't I, have done I think for them as well like it was too easy for me to sort of turn to them and, and borrow from them because they, they always would because they're good people they are very good people and uh but if you're struggling mentally, you even your mum and dad, you don't see them as your mum and dad. No. You see them as someone That's else. It's a big statement, so, that. It's a big, that's a big know, part, but no. You see them as someone who's just going to bail you out every time. Yeah. Escape another escape route. And, and that is... But it's not fair to ever put blame on anyone else. No. Because why would they? Because not, at this point, I've built up someone that's believable. Yeah. Like, I could lie about anything yeah. that's believable. So. Yeah. Mad. Crazy. <clears throat> so... Uh, as we've touched family, touched on your family a little bit. Um, going into into that, can you can you just describe how you think your family would have felt about it? 
you know, about this whole Pete that wasn't Pete. Yeah. They, you, you say you used to tell him that you was fine or you was okay. Yeah, yeah. Surely they but must have known I, I this think, that you I wasn't. For them, because when they're older, I don't think they would ask in the sense of thinking I was struggling mentally. No. Because they wouldn't know. So they just thought it was big drug problems. They just thought it was problems, yeah, which can be overcome problem. easier than, than someone with mental health. 100%, yeah. And um, I can't speak I can't speak for them, but no. I know that they would know the person years before, that the, the shy, the quiet, the, the nice one. Yeah. They would know that, and I'm pretty sure in their head they would see something different. And they do see through sort yeah. of the bad. And you to, can't to just see. put it down to someone's grown up and they've changed that much. No. You can't. No, you know, they know who you are, don't they? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're, at the end of the day. Your parents at the end of the day, you know. They, of course. Like, um, so this this was... Uh, when when you put you know when you hit rock bottom we say the term rock bottom I, I yeah. think you've told me before you've hit it more than once yeah um, so what what was the first moment you the, felt about that? and the, the, the sorry the first moment as well what you you felt like you had to talk to your mum and dad your parents yeah. your family when was that that moment because the, the rock bottom must have been so that moment want, so there was the first time was before we we'll start with we we'll start with when you had to tell your mum that you yeah. Or was you hit so, rock bottom before that? Baby? Before, yeah. Okay, so the, so the first time was before I turned to drugs and gambling. Yeah. The first time was where I, I wasn't didn't feel comfortable, wasn't happy, and that's where uh, I had an, a suicide attempt. Yeah. Tell us about it, which tell not, us, not a lot us. of people knew. Um, tell us about it. I used to used to walk walk every day to the same spot and just think every day about you know I, I don't belong here. Yeah. What, in like, the world? In the world, yeah, just in general. Like, I'm fucking up every single day. Yeah. This is when I started to borrow money for, for no reason. Yeah. It didn't make sense why I was not happy. No. It didn't make sense at all. There's nothing going wrong. No. And uh, it came to that point, and um, for me, personally, I could, it's easier for me to talk about that situation now than some other stuff, mm. which is nuts. Yeah. Um, I used to walk every day and like disappear and walk and just had the the feeling of wanting to end it yeah. but wanting someone to to see me okay so i didn't fully want to disappear yes, yeah it's just the thought but deep down i wanted help at yeah. that point without me knowing it yeah because i always wanted to see someone and it always happened because we so, didn't so what you're saying is when you say you wanted to see someone when you're walking i don't know where you were you was walking yeah. having these thoughts you'd you'd you'd, you'd walking in hope that someone's going to walk around the corner that you knew yeah, yeah. maybe and, to say hello it happened every time because really? that's where we live so every yeah and it's not even a big thing like I'd walk think I'd look at the water down Amsworth I'd look at different things and, or look at the train tracks and be like I could do that now I could I could. Yeah. Well, and then but, something always but happened. I'll keep walking and I'm like I might, I might see some. maybe I'll see someone and I always did because someone just says hello and then you switch off from that feeling yeah. and then you carry on and that's that's the thing This is what, I still don't understand that now no but at the time, I, that would just become like daily every time. Weird. Very weird. But mm. it got it did get to the point where it got too much, and and I had the incident where I sat sat on the the tracks, the motorway bridge, yeah. with my legs dangling over. Okay. And that's the deep of it. That's the that was the. And that was that was the first real rock bottom. But I can't now sitting here at thirty years old tell you exactly how I felt. No. I can't tell you now exactly what happened. I'd imagine Peter, it's a big blur. Huge. Surely, like. and probably about three people maybe know that. And one, a person came like past that. with with their with their their dog or something. And just we just said like, it's not worth it. Really. And to this person, because this day I don't even know who that that no. was. But at one one stage I wasn't strong enough to do it. But it took me off there. The lady's comment took you, or the man. Yeah, well, I don't took, even know. I don't even know if they they would have pulled me off. I don't even no, know. No, so, so you you're saying that it, it, you not that you might not have done it. You might still have not had the power to do it. Yeah. But what you're saying is the, the this lady is saying this nice comment. Just, I don't even know if the person's real. So it, it could have been somebody in your head. It I don't know. Been. But regardless, so this nice comment has then pulled you away from from yeah, jumping at, off the bridge. But I couldn't. I could. I could explain. I could describe to you walking there every other day, but I couldn't ever explain to you how I got home on that day or how it. How it so that was a big blur, point. and there must have been a big shot. If if, if you have climbed down or climbed back over, where yeah. you've done the whole walk home, you must have been what I'm This is a, this is thing from out. I feel so sorry for that person yeah. to be there on on his own, sat there with no feeling in the world. Yeah. And at that stage, that was the first time where it really hit because it w- I would have gone with that no care, nothing. Not on your just family gone. or nothing. No, and, no. It, I, and the hardest thing for me to meet is that it, it didn't bother me. No. Because Mad. it did absolutely yeah. crazy. 
So I think a, a, a massive point we can all take away from that, for me, is you're, if you are in the streets and you see someone walking and they look a bit down, yeah. just say hello. A kind word. Say, oh, you look smart. Like, your friends, especially men. I'm not saying women, women as well, but especially men. You know, if you're going out for a night out, Cal, your virtues as well, if you're going out for a night out and your mate goes, oh, that's a, you know, you mm. look fucking good. You look yeah, smart tonight. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? That's a nice type. That's a nice track. It's saying uh, the flyers me, too much is be kind, but you say hello to someone on the street in a positive way, then it makes a huge a difference. A smile. And it did to A me. smile walking down. So what we've got to think, everyone, is, that, again, we're trying to get these points across to everyone because there's going to be people <coughs> here today that are struggling. If you're, if you're walking through, and, and if this person, whether it's real or not, if this person didn't smile at Pete or say, Pete, it's not worth it, or not Pete, but you know, it's not worth it, Pete may have jumped off that bridge. He may have killed himself. Mm. And, and, and even on the other occasions, like the, the people I walk by just to say hello, like they could have saved my life. Hundred percent. A smile, like, like, like he, you say, you walk down into a water it. peak. Yeah. And I'd imagine you know you said you always said that someone popped up always. Um, mm. Someone always arrived. Yeah, they did. So whether this is a stranger smiling or saying hello, yeah. this is what you're saying. That that there give you a bit of. Uh, and and going back to the first question you asked about why we're doing this now is because the guys that talk more on you, it, it's local. But I always, I think, had a deep down feeling that I would always see someone because that's the area we live in. We're lucky to live. And that's in why that, it means more. Mm. That's why we're doing this now. Hundred percent. Because it's going to be more people doing that. And, and like hundreds of people, mm. hundreds of people. And this is what I'm saying is that another. Again, we're trying to get this point thoroughly across. If you are walking and you seeing someone, you know, even if you know him, if you don't know him, a smile or anything, especially when you live in in tight areas, a smile, because mm. you know you're going to be walking past certain people someday. I've got these thoughts. Like one day you're going to be walked. So in fact, a lot of the time you're probably going to walk past someone and they've got these thoughts in their head. So just a smile, a wave, a hello, how are you? You look good, something like that. I think it can go so far and such a massive, um, long way into helping someone. Oh, so Pete, that was the first rock bottom. Yeah. Yeah. What? Tell us about the second rock bottom. Because you, you pulled yourself out a little bit of that. Yeah, I would say I would say I did, and try to try to pull myself out and act as if it was it was normal. Like no one would no one would have known that that even happened. No, like, I was so good at putting the other yeah, the yeah, other body on. Yeah. Um, the second time around, I personally is it, there was there was no other attempt after that. Let me be be clear with that. It wasn't, yeah, okay. It was never due to that. It wasn't no. that dark feeling. So it was that, just that one instant. That, that, that was the first bottom but there's other ways to hit rock bottom without doing that 100% you know? and obviously the extent of substance abuse and gambling things like that added and built up after that mm. I don't know why I did it maybe I was just still struggling mm. but doing it in a different way than the first time when I, I tried to take my life yeah so that's so your second rock bottom was yeah some some incidents happened at, at a stage you know I was living like a brash life trying to be Again, like Topping, you're not. put this put this face on and then add to it even more like trying to put back the thoughts of what's happened before you know mm. and uh, yeah and it turn again to hitting losing everything in, in one instance but at that point you know I think it didn't matter to me until it really got to the desperate times mm. and I'd, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it but I knew it was coming where it'd be like if I lost everything or lost the money lost job everything like that it would either be a case of I need someone to bail me out or I'm going to do this again Yeah, and that's it you've got a 50-50% chance yeah, yeah, of, yeah. of what you're going to do with your life from there you yeah. either someone's going to save you yeah. you're going to tell someone finally admit what's going on or you're just going to disappear from the planet mm. and end it mm. And but I would let that get to more more than one occasion so you, you're knocking on the door with yeah it. and it is more that's a cry drink, quick drink soft no, drink right. Right. Yeah, carry on, carry on. And that's a cry for a cry for help, but yeah. in that sense, but not actually a real cry for help because you're not actually telling anyone. Mm. Um, yeah, so you, you're you're doing it. You're asking for help in your head, but you're not letting yeah. everyone anyone know. Which goes back to what we're saying: talk to. Yeah. And that's the whole point of this. You need to talk more. Yeah, and we and we get, we get to the point where something happened, which I'm not going to go into because it's, I don't think that's necessary. It's just, no, it's not necessary. Okay. But it, it then involves my parents where they have to they step in so you see you're saying your parents bowed you out of certain stuff yeah and then it it gets to the point where if that didn't happen if i didn't have good parents they didn't bow me out the other thing would have happened which is why a lot of people uh, commit suicide and stuff yeah, exactly. and obviously as we know m 
suicide is the biggest killer in men in the UK. It's, yeah. That's a fact. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not sure the facts. Exactly. I, 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 should have, I, should, I should have written it down, really. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines. It's either, I think it's either four or 12, between that number. 12 a day. 12 a day. There you go, Carl. Thanks for that. Sure, so 12 people a day, 12 men a day commit suicide in the UK. That's mental. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at 12 people committing suicide, yeah. and I can guarantee you, I said this earlier in the stream, every single one of those persons who commit suicide have not talked. I'd say probably 95% of them have not talked to people, yeah. have not tried to talk their problems out before committing suicide. The other 5% they may have done it and wasn't enough, but um, what I'm saying is talk more. If you've got mm -hmm. problems, talk. That's the main thing. Is there anything else deep you want to get, get no, to? So, on that? so we, if we carry on from where that, because this now feeds on quite nicely where they did bail me out and it came to the stage where I had no other option in life but to, to speak about something. And at the first thing I remember I said to my mum, because my mum's amazing, she, 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 is, I know she understands, just to say, oh, I'm addicted to this and this. That was the first first call, it was that. Okay, we'll get your help, do this anonymous, whatever. Didn't bother, didn't go. Just somehow in my head, like, switch that off. Mm. But I, I couldn't explain how. Is that because you, you didn't <coughs> think you needed it? or I, I, just... didn't, I didn't need it. Okay. But it sort of woke me up in the sense of then, when that start, when I started not doing that, and I'd obviously had nothing at this point, and then it came where I had an offer to go to Southampton and move, mm. and be on my own, and it all weighed up in my head. And then I said to my mum, I said, "It's not this, like I'm not, I'm not okay, mm. like I'm not." Mm. And that was probably the, one of the hardest conversations ever. What with your mum? Yeah. Saying? And then it, it, then she said, "Said I, I believe that let's get help." Yeah. And this is like and this is not help for gambling. This is not help for drugs. No, this is help for your mental thoughts and your. At mental first, health. I, like I said to you, when I had to pour out everything, when I lost everything and lost all loads of their money, I blamed it on the other two things, but I stopped them two things. Is it because you were scared to say about me? Yeah, health? is that what it is? You were too scared was, to say. Yeah, and it was blaming the other two. Like this is why I'm like that. Yeah. Not thinking so you're using, even though you might have had a little bit of a problem with gambling and, and yeah, drugs, of course. Um, which is natural, you, you did have a problem, but as you said, them problems for me, and, and as you said, are much more easier to fix than they mental are, health problems. They are huge, yeah. In, in the long run, in short run, in every, every, like, every I blamed the other two, but I didn't think back to, uh, at that time, so I went, no, like, uh, is I was six, 16 years old and feeling weird, mm. maybe, and then it came to where I stopped them other things, because I, I got put people like, go and do this, go and do that, go and do that. And I, I always, always did believe I could, I could take myself off it. Yeah. And I did. You did. Yeah. Because that's <clears throat> because I think where I'm wired differently, and you've got a, a, a kind of unique mind. Mm -hmm. Like, and I still knew that was there, as a problem. Yeah. But when I admitted to that, then that's when it changed. Yeah. So it changed. The, the moment you've then said to your parents, obviously your <coughs> mum, mum at first, Just, was um, I'm actually suffering mentally. And, and yeah. as you said, that was the hardest thing you've ever done. Huge, yeah. For me, that was the hardest. Apart Sorry, from, you said. Apart from this. But. Apart from this. Maybe, yeah, well, <laughs> listen, fair play again for that. So that might be you've, you've said to your mum and talked, not, listen, there's, there's difference of talking that you can talk about drugs problems, you can talk about gambling yeah, yeah. problems, you can talk about being hungry. Do you know what I mean? You can talk about so many, but to talk about something like mental health mm. is for a man more, listen, for a woman as well, completely, but I think for men more, yeah. it's tough because we're meant to be these big, hard, strong men. Yeah. And for, for a man <coughs> to go and open up to to your mum is, yeah. do you know what I mean? It, and I can only imagine and at it's this point, I'm, I'm like 28 years old. Mm. Like I'm not even like young anymore. No. And. Yeah, but the, the older you get, the harder it'll be, Pete. Cause exactly, but this is the first time where maybe stuff starts coming out that, like, it's more. Uh, people are seeing it. Yeah. Probably about two years ago, am I right? Two, three years I ago? I think so. I think that so. mental health, maybe. Yeah, two, two. Three. So that's, that maybe would have helped in the sense of where I thought, it sounds like me. Mm. What they're all talking about now, mental yeah. health, that sounds like me. Yeah. So it's not till you started seeing things published on social media. Hearing people talk about mental health, yeah. do you actually realise? You know I mean, I've actually yeah. got this mental health problem. Yeah, yeah. I've got I'm, I've got these demons in my head that I'm struggling with yeah. for all these fucking years. Excuse my French. Yeah. All these years, and that's, I, that's, I haven't been able to put a nail on it. That's twelve years at that point. Twelve, 12 years. years, a long time to but, suffer. But, but not even now. What, what we got to get to? This is just you. There's hundreds of people out getting this as well. You what you got to think is there's people, <clears throat> there's people. Um, especially like our older generation, our grandparents, our parents, 
they're not used to having all this publicised so imagine they're, what I always think about imagine what they've gone through back in the day because yeah. this mental health ain't a new thing no, no. this has been around since the start of, do you know what I mean and all these people have struggled for all these years um, but we're lucky enough now to have social media friends telephones everything like that, internet and stuff where we can now get it out there and get the point out there and start spreading the word and mental health is a massive thing it's, it's one yeah. of the biggest things ever and it's time to talk and to time to talk about it and let's make it this is why we're doing this stream listen we're we're nothing in this world this little house here with three people the world's huge but if, if we can get 10 of us doing it to start and then link on to another time so that's 100 people 100 people then doing an, an awareness thing do you know what I mean and then link out and, and eventually surely the word's got to get across and not only just to mental health everything yeah, but yeah. we're concentrating on the mental health sort of things um, so Pete I think well, I think we can safe to say we, we've talked through most of the bad stuff yeah I there think. is some there's some more like that. Do, do you want to do you want to tell us about anything? yeah i think you should while you're here there's certain things and and i wanted to be as open and honest as possible but because people i will, don't want what well, i don't want you to walk away from here and feel like you've still yeah, got something inside so people, get it all out people mate. people will feel stuff and i want to them to know that that's normal to feel that like and like, like yeah what, just just something different love like, like from um great time mate Take your time, mate. Take your time, mate. Not easy, is it? No, take your time, mate. You've got it, though. You've got it. You've the, got it. The, the so biggest, thing, the biggest thing is the fear and being scared to being be, scared. be here. Yeah? Yeah. In this world? Yeah. So if you're feeling scared to be here, it's normal. Is what Pete's trying to get across. Um, that feeling is it's not nice but it is normal so don't think you're alone is what Pete's saying is if you're if you're here in this world and you don't feel you've got a purpose or you feel like you're scared you're fearing what comes next that's normal I think so yeah is that right? yeah don't be ashamed of it because it's it's the way people feel it's the way you feel and there's ways to overcome it and it starts by talking there is yeah which is there why is. we're why we're here why, why Pete's here now to talking to get out of that it's probably the first time we talked about that um, I'd imagine the fear and the scared to be scared in this world listen yeah. everyone gets scared the last I don't care who you are you get scared the, the crazy thing is now is like having actual emotions which is the, the nicest thing but the hardest thing like yeah now. of course you're not used to because it so you're still getting used I've to never it been to show you're still it. getting used to, to it show it um, I said but there's to, nothing wrong with doing that the know? last time last time I cried was around when our friend died at 19 yeah fuck me yeah yeah, so yeah. That's, a, that's like 11 years ago mm. 11 years it's mad holding stuff in and that, yeah. that was it but it, it Listen, fair play, fair play. But as I said, <coughs> we've, we've touched that bit. It, it's, oh, nor, it's normal to be scared, and fair play, Pete. I know that was going to be yeah, the hardest bit was, for you, and that was that a bit. Pete, 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 last time I met Pete, he said there's a couple of things that are going to. It's be words. Hard. It's words. So it's, like, it's, a few it's scared. It's being fear. scared. But look how easy that was. How easy was that? Well, he just said that. Easy. No, but listen, yeah. you just said that like that because you've already talked about it now, which and, it, and it's another point. Like not talk. Not feeling. And like it's darkness. It's not feeling safe. It's not feeling let you belong but everyone does you do honestly you do everyone's got a purpose is what he's trying to say I think everyone's got a purpose you're in this world you for a reason find it. you need to find who you are for some people it takes longer but patience is key yeah. and you will get there Positivity. I promise you if I'm there now at 30 you will get there there you go so let's um, start going positive start looking forward the reco road yeah, to recovery <laughs> yeah to start with the right road to recovery mate um, what steps did you take? Yeah, you know, did you go to any sort of rehab or did you go to yeah. any classes or counselling? So I know I mentioned to you we go from the second time when I, I admit to my mum that I needed help, like I wasn't right. Um, we, she said okay, but she didn't know what to do. She wouldn't know what to do. So we we went to a local GP, which I urge everyone to do. Obviously trust your GP. Yeah. Because they do know. Because they do. They're trained. They're trained. They've never seen it. And unless you you talk to someone straight away and you think hey, he, doesn't, he won't believe me mm. but you should you should you should have trust in someone yeah and we went through stages obviously at this point I was ready to to just try and push through it wasn't easy it's not easy no it's never going to be easy mm. it's not but it's something you've got to go through and um, we then got referred to mental health clinics and haven't uh, like checked for bipolar because obviously things going on Con, yeah. but I said to you one big turning point and this is only like a year and a half two years ago mm. but that's that's how quick things can change um, and I said to both of you and, and Jack as well it's like 
being in one of their mental health places and I, I feel sorry for the people that are that way mm. and I don't know how this will come across but being in the room there for the first time and seeing people that are, that are not mental health they're genuinely messed up messed up they're crazy mm. and I'm in the same room as them so you see, you're looking at these people thinking that's not Pete and I'm sat with my mum from Westbourne in the same room as, as someone who's like yeah. t- tied together because he, he, he's going to Slash his wrist in, in an instant. So you're seeing these people and thinking that ain't me. You're, and then is that a big? Was that a big turning point? Huge man, huge. And then because obviously my doctor and I, and I didn't quite tell them the truth. No. Everything. You're still holding little bits back. Yeah, because you think the really weird stuff. No one's gonna quite get it. But then it got to the point, and at that point, seeing that, and I went in the room with a lady. I can't even remember her name, like a therapist or something. And she, and I thought, do you know, fuck it. And that's the way I thought. Honestly, like, fuck really? it. Really, really. Um, I'm gonna say everything. Okay, what's well, the certain woman? Yeah. Is it, is it because of her or was it just the thing in your head you was gonna do what it? I've seen right before her. Right before. So all yeah. these people you're seeing on you haven't mentioned, but I remember you said to me last time you see someone banging their head against the wall. Yeah. Standing there. This, is, this head, is stuff you see on movies. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm in the same room as these people. Yeah. And I'm being checked for the same stuff as they are. That's not you. No. And then it and then it comes to And that must have upset your mum as well. It, this, is, this is like a testament to her but it sounds odd it doesn't because she cares for every single person on this planet oh, yeah, so she would, talk, what type she would of go mom. and talk to listen, them listen it proves what type of mum your mum is she'd no. talk to them she'd go oh you're alright now yeah, you're alright yeah. care right yeah. looking after so them. she was more looking as in what she could do to help exactly and, and I'm like that deep yeah. down you, oh, God, I know you are 100%, 100%. So I, think, I think a lot of us around this area are oh, I think we're, we're, we have been raised very you know we've been raised good I think we've got good parents we're blessed so, um, so we so we get into the room and I'll just start telling this woman and this is where probably the first instance of being able to talk comes from I say stuff and I'm thinking oh shit she, what's she going to think about that oh that's fine fine oh yeah yeah I've heard that before it's like it's normal I'm like what yeah and it's like tame and I'm like and for I'm, you it's massive for me it's huge it's huge but for her it's down there it's nothing it's nothing you can, you can do this yeah and then we start talking about stuff and, all, and I said, I've got this chance to go and do this. She said, try that. Try going to Southampton. Try and take yourself away from the circle. Talking to me like I'm, I'm normal, like I'm back in school. Mm. And it's perfect for me. It worked for me. Being a bit blunt with you? Not even blunt, just no, nice. Just being nice, yeah, and being I'm, real. I'm talking to the therapist and she's being nice to me. Yeah. She's not She's like, not giving you a bollock in or <laughs> something. No. And she said, try it. And, and I said, oh, okay. I said, and I said to her, have you heard stuff like that before? Went, yeah, no, you're fine. You're really? Fine, no. But for you, this is massive. Yeah. Like, this is getting it all off your chest. And you've been building this up for 12 years. Yeah, yeah. For you then to, to build up the bollocks and build up the courage, excuse my French again, to build up the courage to sit there and say it all and burn it out and then have to go, yep, yeah, okay. It must yeah. have been a shock to your system. It was. It was, it was because you built up for 12 years. Or maybe and, more. And the hardest thing, and not even hardest thing, but then coming out of that room and being like, kind of semi smiling. Mum's like, how was it? It's fine. Lovely. Is it because you thought it was going to be a lot tougher? There's a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, obviously tough to explain it, but you thought the after effects of yeah, what the woman was going to say to you and stuff. It wasn't more because it was just about talking, which goes to our point, That's which we're was. getting across. I, I thought in my head I'd have to be uh, under hypnotists and things like that. Like I think tested, we've hit the tested, thousand tested, pound mark, by the way. I've looked over there. I might be getting a skinhead after Thank this. So I much. think we've got well it. Done, we're going to go through everything in a minute, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go. Yeah, you can. I'll, you'll do it. We've got it. Here. Um, we're going to go through everything in a minute. Um, so yeah, just spare with us. We're not too far but, off. Um, yeah, that was that was a wake up and like, coming out of there and and my mum as well said, like I chose to go to this job and these people in Sound, I'm not there anymore, and I don't really speak to them, but they won't even know how big how, that was for yeah. me but that, that, that woman you spoke to probably doesn't remember you nah. that's what you're saying because she sees people like that All daily time, yeah. like hundreds of that, tens and twenties and she just said try it try to do that first and then maybe if that doesn't work do that so simple but effective so simple and, and but yeah but okay. you know what it was is the talking wasn't it it was Opening yeah up. and that's all that was that one one meeting I never had to go back to her no to from there. no 100% uh, so I think we've covered the next three questions in that one whack bit yeah. if I'm honest yes. how much positive effect did you did you have talking about with, with Gavin it <laughs> yeah, sorted so you out basically one, one, yeah one thing I'd like to go on is that taking myself away right and do not ever get this wrong it's not that easy like I, I chose to go in a living position where I was fully on my own mm. like every night but had no way to get this other stuff to disappear from yeah. it so I kind of in a sense had to force myself to understand myself learn to get to know yourself a bit yeah 
and that's that was testing mm. for a long time like you're talking a year yeah like te- every night like in still shut myself away in the room but doing it a different way and learning things like listening to music i know hundreds hundreds of people will do that and admit mm. like they will put sad songs on in their heads yeah. to release yeah they will yeah it's not a bad thing it's no. a brilliant thing it's a way of getting that out it's huge system. yeah but i would do that and it, it it was still tough and i did come back here sometimes and not act right because mm. i was like transmission still I in was the, changing yeah, yeah. yeah. Course, and i was yeah. still worried about how it was going to change but and then I, I came back the first lockdown which for me a lot of people come out of lockdown gone the other way for me it's huge for you it's but massive it's more learning good. it's more learning and i'm like yeah. fuck I'm like locked indoors and I'm loving it yeah like I'm yeah. so happy yeah because you're yourself you're starting to be yourself yeah and you're learning you're relearning who who the actual Pete is I suppose yeah do you really, know what I mean really like, so. you know who he is deep down yeah. but it's, it takes a lot to try and learn and get that back <clears> out and then the first couple of stages where you, your parents notice the difference and and like little things which are going to make a huge difference like we do now where we have family get together on a Friday I never was affectionate or never anything to my family for years and years no. and years and that's the saddest thing for me that's yeah. what I don't like yeah. because I still, I'm still not going to be lovey dovey no because you, you, I like should that. at least show affection yeah, and, and how much I actually do love yeah, them yeah, appreciate I'm not going to say it appreciate them yeah. yeah and that's now being shown in a different way where we spend time together poker nights and stuff you have a little bit of Huge. film do you yeah, know what I mean and that was lock, lockdown making it thing and it just got better and better and better and better mm. and then because I know I'll come around yours not long ago for your birthday we played yeah. a few games of darts played some cards Couldn't and my, your family are yeah, my, my 30th was, was the best birthday I've ever yeah, had because had, really, yeah. I had people there that meant so much 100% yeah. and I do want to go on to some, some people there from, from that instance of lockdown and then working a couple of jobs in between like we're going to go into are you, do you want to ask a question no carry on, carry on carry on carry it's like certain people there where I'm like so full of not confidence but happiness mm. and like caring yeah and then I started a job and there's a girl called Millie mm. none of you have met her just, we just started talking and like this is another eye and this is why I'm here now it's because I just spent a night just opening up about everything really and then afterwards to like, her yeah, yeah. as someone I no, never don't really know and afterwards I was like what have you what, done what, yeah, yeah and I was like yeah. how is that as well I suppose but it doesn't feel bad no it feels good and then talk. this is the how quick it can change for the domino effect of it now where I can talk to my mum and uh, Jack with a charity you mm. my friend Woody mm. like I've told them stuff and not one of you every one of you's listened yeah but I can see it clearly now now but back then how as well like yeah I said, said to him just talked about it like mm. it's normal one yeah. to one it's fine but going back in two years time you'd never dream of not a chance. doing that to anyone not a chance let alone your mind anyone like me yeah. or anyone and this is why I'm here now because I know how good it makes me feel if I was a kid making other people happy and now I'm reliving that where I want to listen and help others every day still for me mm. wake up you don't know no but I'm happy now and I can put stronger you can put positive things on yeah. positive vibes yeah. set yourself positive goals and embrace who I am bike like, rides stuff do you know what I mean exactly. like positive stuff people like us like we're, we're wired different but mm. we have beautiful minds mm. like if we manage to build up the characters that people believe so long then we're unique mm. and we're, we're fucking good at it and you can do that in a positive way if, if you, you can do, do it in a positive negative way. way you can do it in a positive way exactly and twice as help because you're going to have help from people and it's about, so it's it's about changing it over and that's where I'm at now and that's it's so good like such a good feeling yeah. like and even like talking forget all this was here I forgot most of this here last exactly. I'm talking yeah. to you yeah, you're my friend yeah, you're yeah. my friend yeah. like, and like surrounding yourself with people and being confident enough people do understand now hmm. they do of course they do some people I never and now I've learned I, I'm not angry at people that don't understand but just know that people like like me and others we're fucking jealous of you for having normal brains. Yeah, of course. Because it takes us a lot longer to get said like it takes a lot of work and But now we need, we need to embrace how beautiful our minds yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. And, that's and, and positivity is massive, isn't it? Think yeah. positive, be positive, do positive and things, all, surround yourself with positive Yeah, people. and another thing I like to say is that obviously my mistakes have been shown right here, but for me, the biggest worry as well, which is why I wanted to do it and get with Generation Talk More and do all that, is because the younger generation are fearless. Mm. They, they are. are. They are. And that's in the ba- and, and it's very scary. Very scary it is. And and uh, being a parent I'm I'm quite yeah. quite nervous and, and uh, I mean, not if, looking forward if, to it. If not people lie. can come forward with people have different ways where they cope with stuff. If everyone can come forward and share that, mm. 
It's not going to work for everybody. No, it could help for one. If you help one person from doing this today, oh, listen, I know massive. for a fact you're going to help a lot more. But what I'm getting at is if you help one person for you, you've succeeded. This, you've is, all, this is all I want. This Do you is, know what I mean? This, that means more to me than Which, which is getting on to our next question now, moving forward, um, how, how you're going to use your story to help others. Mm. And and I'm going to, regardless what happens now and here, and how many, I don't know how many viewers we've had, I don't know how many people. You're going to look so good. Boy. Like, honestly, <laughs> I don't know how many we've got. So we're going to have a look through that in I've a minute. I have not even looked at it. That's um, the first time I've looked what, at the what, what I will say is, no matter who's been watching this, whether we've had one, whether we've had 50, um, what I will say is we're, we're going to be clipping this video, and this video is going to be made into just the interview. And we're going to try and put it out there. Yeah. We're going to try and put it on online on Facebook obviously the biggest platform I have no idea, no idea how, how it would have no worked, and so. what we don't know what it's like but we're going to put it on there and we want it to get shared we want this whole story to go yeah, worldwide please do just because this man wants to help people I want to help people yeah. that's why we're doing it we've raised over for it. listen we've hit the target I can only just see up there what does it say 100,000 saying at the very top we smashed the target which the, is, the, means I'm getting a skinhead off this the, the, the biggest thing as well like there are different people in different scenarios in life that, that you can relate to you may not relate to my story, you may relate to someone else's story, like the guys that talk more, they've all got individual stories, you might relate to that and do not be afraid to talk to them and ask them. 100%. They will, they will be there and they will talk. 100%, well let's move in a little bit, let's just, anyone, I don't think we're going to, I don't, can I have a swig of yeah, of course you like can, that. yeah, crack on, I don't think we're going to be able to read through the comments because I've got a feeling there's so many on here, but listen, for me, that was everything we wanted out of that interview. For me, Pete, I don't know how you feel. And listen, fair play. Fair play, man. Yeah, honestly. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks very brave much. Brave man, I'm telling you now. Very brave man, mate, oh. for doing that. It takes someone with big bollocks to do that, doesn't it, Calv? Oh, do you know what I mean? I have no idea how that would have gone down. And, number, and just... listen, we, we, what we, we're happy with how... I'm, I'm over the moon of what Pete got out and what he's like. I'm sure you are. I can feel the relief in this weird detention in the air, Calv. I don't know yeah, if you can uh, feel uh, it. Uh, the first comment I've seen, Liz, you can absolutely piss off with... Pete should do the skinhead. Pete should do the skinhead. No, no, no with me. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, me. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll do that. We'll get the skinhead going. Don't worry, we're going to do it. Uh, yeah, listen, look at all these comments, man. I don't know if we can go through these. We've got stars. Everyone who sent stars and donations, I'm just going to thank you all in one. because I look, like, I, I look, like a I look Simon Merrick coming in with a £50 at the end. Like I'll see that. <laughs> 40 viewers as well. Listen, stay tuned. If you want to see me... Get my hair stripped off. We're gonna do it within the next ten minutes. Stay tuned. Can I just say as well that was that was for me personally huge, but that was for so many more people as well. That wasn't just for me. It's for all of us. Yeah, be kind to each other and honestly talk, talk more. Talk you, more. Let's have a happy life. We're, life's too short. It really is. Hundred uh, percent. Josh so Carr, I, I love as well. Like Josh, I was, I did want to mention your name as well as someone, but I um, it just didn't didn't come out. So I'll put message back in a minute. So. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Has like anyone got any questions for Pete or, or myself? You know, I don't mind. Another thing as well, like the situation after this, do not be afraid of like admitting afterwards you're tired as well. Like I know tonight I'm going to be so emotionally tired by this because I've released so much. Released it out. But that's a normal feeling, and do not like think no. it's bad. Go home and, and relax by yourself, but just be happy. Please. Be happy. Talk. The whole point of this interview is to get people I'm to talk. Not even see me in gulag. Yeah, and not even see him. Respect. Listen, the sun <laughs> kind message. Any questions for Pete, Pete or myself? Like, I, 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 I Pete, for I like, 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 well, I weigh about two stone. I, I just like, want to thank, like, thank you for coming in, though. And yeah. I, honestly, it and means it, a lot. It's another thing, Kurt, as well. Kurt's been there for me for a long time, and this is why I'm here today as well as a platform for that. Yeah, because he's a great person. He's doing great things, and he no, will always be there if you need. Well. Again, it's what I was going to get onto, and 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 it's not just Pete I can talk to. Listen, if anyone's got any problems, anyone wants to chat, you know where I am. Listen, I'm a message away. Honestly, I, I'm I'm open minded. I heard yeah. someone early on say I should be a mentor and for mental health and stuff. Someone said that earlier, yeah. which was a privilege for me to say. We we have some. There's going to be some big things coming, and we're going to make a lot of changes, a lot of differences in people's lives. 100%. Do not make the same mistakes as me. Talk and more. It's, and it's never too. You're never too too old or too young to start again uh, do, you, do you find lockdown here we've got some questions Jason Richens do you find lockdown made your mental health harder to cope with or easier it, uh, easier because I had to you had to cope I had with. no choice so uh, Pete, Pete was still learning, yeah, learning still learning at that point but yeah it's Jason Yeah, to be honest mm. like when you're locked in it's going to go two ways but you have to be strong with it and um, you'll, you'll find ways to learn with it yeah 
it was good for me. Like I'm, I wish. There was I remember you saying to me, "You come out, yeah, you come out better because you were still learning." Cycle. There's no everybody cycle. There's no well. cycling. He loves cycling. cycling amazing. And I think we are we are planning to do another little cycling charity event. Yeah. We're going to go to Germany this time again. Same sort of trip we have done last time. Uh, Jack Partridge, my question is: Did you have any clue about this mental health, Kurt, when you've done your charity bike ride? Good question. That was, that was a, a, a I think very it, difficult stage. It might be well. asking me as well, you know. We're, we're yeah, both yeah, answering. Yeah. I'll, I'll answer it first. I, I didn't know. I didn't know about his mental health there, no. I knew... That's a brilliant question. I knew, yes, sure. a great question, Jack. Unbelievable question. Not just a pretty face and a man with a big wallet. <laughs> um, I didn't know. No, I knew, listen, I knew being very... One of my best mates, Pete, growing up. We've always played football together. We've always from school. No, do you know what I mean? We've done a lot of things. We've travelled together. We've done everything. We've done a charity bike ride to Germany together. Um, we've done all sorts so I know Pete and I, I knew I knew there was stuff wrong with Pete in certain times when on this bike ride I don't think I don't think no. I can say that there... do you know what I'm going to add to that as well because all we were doing every day was talking yeah massive we yeah. what do you do what, what do you do when you're cycling 80, 90 yeah. miles a day you talk you <laughs> there's talk. nothing else you can do you cry, but right? one thing I will <laughs> say going back Jack, I never really thought about that mate and I, when I yeah, now thinking back I Thinking back, Pete, you was quiet. You was very like one word answered and yeah. stuff. I think at the beginning, I, I don't ever thought about that. It's a great mm. question, isn't it? Mm. And do you know what? I think the first bit you were very one answered and you were yeah. quiet at times. Obviously, because you're thinking, it was an escape, you, and then you're comfortable because because we're getting to talk. And do you know what? Towards the end, we were chatting, laughing, yeah. joking, playing that game. I didn't want to go play. back, and he didn't want to go. I didn't. To be honest, it was it's brilliant. <laughs> but no, that's a great question. Great question. Um, don't be silly I'm proud of you when I'm back to sell forever catch up what you're doing is going yeah, to have lots of people inspiration yeah top well. man someone yeah. say cycle Jamie Marriott yeah, uh, I've had a few agreeing with me but but will you both sign a t-shirt and highest bidder by the end of the stream tomorrow morning wins it and the money goes towards a charity do you both think it's a good idea <laughs> man I can yeah, sign I, it I didn't want. Got a signature. Uh, but uh, listen who wants my signature like what but I'll do it listen if everyone's down for it put a thumbs up and we get it going this is very important with people saying that 100% knack, knack when it really it takes a lot out. Yeah, of it. Emma Hayward. Get that wrong. Hundred percent. But don't let it right. get you down afterwards. Just, just keep as a positive. Like I'm, I'm tired for a good reason. Hundred percent. Tommy Lee James, what are you dropping? What are you dropping? Or oh, what are you dropping you off? Sorry, I don't know. Dave, Dave, thumbs up. What are you dropping you off? Lads, just want to Calf say on behalf of us, a generation taught more. Thank you, Jack. Thank you for mate. Thanks. Yeah. That's fine. Listen, Jack. Jack, you're a great. It's our pleasure, mate. It's our pleasure. Any more questions for me, did Pete? I, did I, did I, did I cry? A little bit, a little bit yeah. Don't ever let anyone or anything get in your way. One hundred. How do you feel physically? Feel after you tell it? Like after telling your story, so, so light, <laughs> and that's the mad thing. Can't wish off that light. You feel, you feel like, <laughs> got a few like you're, you're about you weigh about a stone because you, you can right now. You can hear me talking. I, just, I could run around. Like I could run around do whatever, and I feel like so every, I Germany. every single time I talk to my friends about any little problem now or any. Emotion, I feel, I feel exactly the same way. You lift, do not live with that whole thing over you. It's a weight in it. It's a massive it's a weight. Massive weight, yeah. Uh, Pete, I watched Ronan Kemp's documentary recently about male suicide and mental health. They had some great tips on how to approach friends or others help someone come to terms with things. What's the biggest tip would you give to someone? Would you say someone? Would you say to someone to get them to open up? Oh, so what's your, yeah? What's the biggest tip you give someone to try and open up or allow the open the path to be able to open up? To be honest, I don't know. No, it's to, individual. Leave. Yeah, you need to learn learn yourself about yourself yeah. and how the best way for you to do it. Don't wrong. You would never like find it that easy to reach out to people as men, like we don't. But we do want help, and hopefully you can feel comfortable doing it. But it will. T I think if people ask you if you're okay or if you're alright, and you say yes, 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 but then people don't keep pushing it, but keep asking every now and then and that person when they're ready it will come out that's the way I believe now if people are suffering if they really feel like it's the right time to talk then they will talk you learn, learn yourself learn, 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 learn yourself learn what you learn like who you are. learn what you are and don't be ashamed of the little little quirks that you've got like I'm sure I'm mildly autistic <laughs> like I don't, but I love it yeah yeah be proud of proud of what you are proud of what you are um, I lost my brother-in-law due to Jane and Sorry, Damien, I'm yeah, so sad to hear yeah, that. It's, it's not good, mate. Which uh, hopefully we've done you justice today in our interview and and yeah, um, your brother's the same justice. Mistakes, you know, I'm sure he's proud of you. Uh, James Johnson, moving forward, Locks and Kurt, how will you now both approach everyday life? What's now changed after this conversation from both points of view? Um, for me, it started changing. 
Yeah. Listen, yeah, I've, I've seen. It doesn't just change on the no, conversation. No, it, it, it started changing when, for me, the way I look at Pete, I knew he was struggling. I knew Pete was struggling. At the time, he, he used to ignore me. He used to ignore yeah. me and, and phone calls. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not answer the phone and, and shit. So you know something's not right, and you sort of you, you don't want you want to get involved, but you don't. You just want to you got to let him find your own way. Yeah, I think sometimes you, you're there, always there for someone. Yeah. Um, but when we started talking more, and then him opening up, we had I say on his birthday, he opened up a bit to me that night. We've had a, had a few beers as well, yeah. so he's obviously opened that up a bit mom more. Cry. <laughs> that made his mum cry. <laughs> not 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 anything physical, <laughs> but um, yeah. So we that was when it started realizing that you know how bad it was for Pete. Um, for me, approaching everyday life, I'm a positive person anyway, James. So I like to I like to try and yeah. I like to try and um, try and be positive, yeah. regardless. Um, Pete. Yeah, I don't think it. I think this is the way we were at the start when we were friends. Like it doesn't change. That all you got to do is skip out the middle bit, and then think how good the times were before, and they are again. So mm. you can't forget the the stuff in between. But look back and go. It's just part of being friends. That's what yeah. friends do for each other. I'd love to see Pete Store on a podcast. But, mate, this is a, basically a podcast. Yeah, okay. Curtie.tv. What more podcast can you get? Curtie.tv. Do you know what I mean? Curtie.tv. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. This is the way he wanted to show it. This is what he's done. Yeah, I really, uh, one I thing, really one thing I'll, across... go. One thing I learned from that Roman Kemp thought was to ask someone if it's okay twice. Yes, we've yeah, got yeah, about yeah. this earlier. Yeah, yeah, Here yeah. we go. That's a great point, Jason. Like, I, Thank made you. A, I made a saying, Jason, to Kurt, that. Yeah, I brought this up the earlier. Biggest, the biggest thing and this actually this is a very weird story but I heard it in a song where someone was singing saying it's fine I'm fine and that is every mental health person's answer straight away I'm fine and people accept that don't accept that that's that's not that's not enough I'm telling you now from experience that's not enough but do not keep pushing Sorry, but just ask them again are you sure okay okay but do it in a way where you're, you're friendly you know and then if they don't answer they don't answer go back a couple of days later and just ask them you alright you okay and then you will start seeing it change because they'll start thinking about it. So what you're saying is fine's not good enough? Nah, never. If someone says I'm fine, that's not enough in, in this life at all. Hey. I feel like I'm, I'm real. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that was kind of a deal, I I'm not very safe with things like that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about chopping air? Well, I'll let you know in a minute. I'll off my spot. I'm called Bruce. How much a killer? Almost everyone the man's taken my Honestly, exactly. Oh, yeah. It's the biggest. Shave yeah, the hair. Yeah. We're going to get the hair shaved. We're going to shave the hair. Another thing as well that anyone older than me, I'm 30, anyone older as well, they will be suffering as well. Don't even think it's a young person thing. They just learn to deal with it. I think you should, you should cut it. I can't have a lot. Shake your hands. I'll have a go. Calvin Soper's here. Calvin's gonna cut Kurt's hair. Hello, everyone. Well <laughs> done, Pete. Thanks done well, so mate. Man. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, I'd love to meet. I'd love to meet anyone. Like my inbox is always open now as well for, for the smallest things. And if anyone on there wants to walk and talk or do whatever, you don't even have to talk. Just walk with someone. Yeah, Cozy, Calv's, Calv's got a uh, fantastic story to tell as well. He's just not quite there yet, but he's a great person. It's just really, I feel like I should kill zombies or something right now. <laughs> Kurt's going to look like Fiona, Jack, not Shrek. <laughs> 